had the stupidest verses, dude, this the truth Now everybody giving them guest spots and stocks through the roof I heard you fucking with that stuff. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will 5% pleasure, 50% Sick and he's spitting fire and Mike Got him out the dryer, he's hot Found him in Fort Minor with top But a fucking nihilist porcupine He's a prick, he's a cop The type women wanna be with Then rappers hope he gets shot The animal tranquilizer is known by street names like Tranq, Zombie Drug It came into being in 1962 As an anesthetic for veterinary procedures In human beings, the drug led to the respiratory depression And low blood pressure issues so the trials were stopped. It's then, it then started being used as an addictive substitute for heroin. And this started most likely in the 2000s. It causes wounds, which if left untreated, can lead to amputation. It can knock you out for hours, so it can leave the users vulnerable for long periods of time. Let me now tell you what's happening in Philadelphia. More than 90% of the lab-tested dope samples there were positive for xylazine. More than 90%. And this problem is not just limited to Philadelphia. This is happening increasingly in drug hot zones across the country. A study published in June detected xylazine in the drug supply in 36 states and the District of Columbia. In New York City, xylazine has been found in 25% of the drug samples. The zombie drug, the zombie drug is causing horror across America. And how exactly? The animal sedative is being mixed with fentanyl. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid. It was originally developed as a painkiller for surgery. It has a specific chemical structure with multiple areas that can be modified often illicitly, and it is being used to bulk up supplies of illicit fentanyl, worsening its impact. Basically, the dangerous sedative is infiltrating the country's illicit drug supply, being found in substances like fentanyl. And this highlights how dangerous the drug supply has really become. In fact, in November, the US Food and Drug Administration warned the healthcare professionals about the drug and this is what complicates the matters. It does not show up in routine toxicology screens and can be difficult to distinguish it from opioid use. And since it's not an opioid, xylazine may not respond to a standard treatment for opioid overdoses. It's also becoming increasingly prevalent in overdose deaths. And now let me tell you why this is a serious problem. Overdose deaths in the US involving opioids have been on the rise. The number increased from just over 70,000 in 2020 to almost 81,000 in 2021. And here's the bigger worry. Deaths caused by an overdose of synthetic opioids